Hi, I'm James from Golden Shiny Trading, the professional EU shipping agent in EU City, China. Now, this video, we will show you how we load a 120 container before we ship to USA. So, where those products come from? Those products are purchased by customers in EU market. If you want to know more details, click the link on the top right to get to know how we collect those products and do quality control before we load the container. As a reliable China agent for import in the EU market, our one-stop sourcing service could definitely make your sourcing and import from China easier and simpler. All right, let's cut to the chase and start loading. So those are the products will be loaded to this container today and uh, we already purchased and collect and did quality control in our warehouse before. Now just uh, waiting here and uh, waiting for the labor to come here and load it to this container. So like I said, we already did all quality control procedure on those uh, products. If you pay attention to our YouTube channel, uh, we keep uh, releasing videos about our one-stop sourcing service on a regular basis so as so you can see this container is CMA and uh, we're waiting for the loading labor to come here and uh, they will start loading uh, very properly 125 container includes 28 CBM and uh, we're gonna load all we try to load all maybe few CBM left because uh, we uh, our customers uh, over ordered uh, some products our, our labor start loading now this is a very fragile thing we need to remind the labor needed to put it gently not uh, uh, throw it around we don't allow that shit now some heavy items we will put at the bottom first of this con in this container and then uh, they were stacked one by one. That light cartons always put on the top, so it will protect uh, the product very well. So this is our warehouse manager, and uh, he will manage all the labors. They will report to me directly, and uh, then we know everything. All right, this is the last supplier. Uh, just come here. It's a red bean. Actually, it's a food. All right, we're also gonna load these in this 20 feet container. All right, the red bean is also heavy one and we can also put on the bottom first and uh, make some room for lighter uh, products before. Yeah, they're cooperating with each other. Don't worry about that. So we total have a 120 bags and we're gonna put on the floor in the container and then we put a lighter product, a lighter carton on the top of those bags. It will protect very well. Now all the cotton boxes uh, that will be loaded in the container like this. So we keep no space because we already have, theoretically, we over 20 ACBM products laying, uh, waiting in our warehouse. So we need to, we try to uh, load all of them. So we have to be very careful uh, from the start when we load it. Uh, because no space, huh? No space. So if there will be no extra space wasting. We don't want to waste any space in this small 20 feet container to make sure we try to load the cartons as many as we want. And the labor, loading labor, they know how to do. They are very professional. They keep loading containers every day, actually. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. So this red bean, we will load it like this uh, truck to container. We don't need to load this uh, back to warehouse again because it's going to be loaded in this container, this customer. We need to count every bag to make sure the quantity is right. So the labor and the manager and the driver, the supplier, they will, both, they will all uh, count uh, by themselves to make sure we have same page about the quantity. 120 bags 120 bags so we're gonna load half 60 bags first because we have uh, other products also are very urgent 
uh, our customers request load as many as we can uh, but if one container only has uh, 28 cbm but actually in fact we have a uh, 34 cbm we cannot put the 34 cbm in one 28 cbm container we can't so all we gotta do is just leave some red beans here and try to load other urgent products in this container uh, as possible as we can all right now we're gonna uh, put the light cartons those are light cartons as you can see, we already put the heavy uh, on uh, at the bottom. Now we're just to put a light on the top of the uh, heavy products. All right, this is the heavy one, a little heavier one. All right, keep one carton by one carton loading like that. Now we're gonna unload these half, the other half 60 bags in our warehouse to put it and waiting for next container, next shipment. Because this shipment, as I said, we cannot put all. It's enough to load these uh, products into this container. <laughs> we need to put it here to check first. Uh, make sure everything is okay about those red beans. And those red beans, our supply is located in Dalian City. All right, keep loading, bro. Now the labor is organizing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. Now we'll put it here first and the other labor inside he will organize all the space make sure there's no extra space make sure there's no space wasting all right all the space in this company need to use the for putting cotton boxes so in this way we can put everything into container as many as we want there is another room all full with our products so this one is also filled with our products, uh, belongs to the same uh, customer and uh, this part, this area. So we need to put those also in the container. This labor will come to get it, to uh, get those and load it. He will ask uh, our staff uh, whether those are, case, uh, those are fragile products or heavy or lighter so he knows where to put it because we cannot throw the cartons randomly. We want to make sure everything is okay when customers receive this container in the USA, all right? So we need to think everything on all aspects. So in order to make faster, we need a little tube like this. Uh, take one cotton by one cotton is a little slow. So this tube, it'll make it a little faster. We're not a hurry actually, we're going to load and finish loading th uh, today within two hours. Usually one small container will finish one half an hour. But sometimes, depends on the products, if those products are very fragile, we need to be careful then we just take a little slower to make sure there's no product broken during the loading. Alright, this is top priority. Now we're still keep loading, loading. Let's check it out. When you do things like that, you don't worry about that. Do things like that, it just make it a little quicker, all right? And we make sure the quality will not broken. It's a very normal, common thing. Otherwise, uh, it, it's gonna take one day, the whole day, to complete this uh, loading. And uh, we also need to declare the customs after this uh, container leaves. So uh, we need to do a little quicker sometimes if that's necessary. We also have a small cotton boxes, uh, some samples. We need to make send it to the send in this container. When customer receive, they will receive those samples, and uh, those samples are provided by suppliers, which they, uh, customers want make order in the next time. So they want to see the quality first, and then we just uh, put in the container, and uh, they will receive it. All right, we almost finished uh, one third at least the container. The rest we need to uh, still keep loading and be careful about the space. We don't want to waste any space again. Let me emphasize that it's very important. So every cotton box we have a shipping mark. All right, in our warehouse we have a lot of products for a lot of customers. So we need to make the cotton box. 
uh, with the shipping log. Even you're writing, no problem. As long as uh, our manager, warehouse manager can know this is this customer, that is that customer, then we're good to go. And this obviously is not a customer, so we're not gonna touch this. And we're only gonna load these sides, these uh, cotton boxes into this container. Here we are then. All right, we're finished the whole side. We need to do another side. Still, same. Uh, load the heavy one at the bottom first. So it's like building a house. You have to uh, put the infrastructure, the basic infrastructure, which is the bottom. You have to put, lay, lay those cotton one by one like this. Those are heavy one, right? Those are heavy one. And then put the lighter cotton one layer by one layer like that. So it's more secure even during the shipping because shipping from china to usa uh, it will take at least two weeks so we need to fix those uh, if we put those cordons uh, uh, next by next without any space then it's like seat belt function they will not move around during the shipping time Now see, this is how we load the container and even customers cannot visit in the market we still are able to help customers purchase and order those products from our suppliers and their factories and we collect in our warehouse and do quality control. In the end, we will load this container and ship the customers to destination seaport. So it's very simple. What we wanted to say is, if you wanted to do the same, the procedure is pretty much the same. So if you want it, we get it. Now we finished the last parts, uh, those cotton boxes, and we can fix. We can fit all, I think. All depends in the last. All depends on this guy how to uh, organize, how to squeeze those cottons, how to put in those cottons. You make any call? No problem, no problem. Hmm. This guy said uh, they tried their best. All right. Uh, they also wanted to put all. Now our warehouse manager is monitoring those things, make sure there is no mistake. Uh, what a mistake, such as we put other customers' products into this customer's container. That's a huge mistake. Neither of us want that. So warehouse manager will monitor uh, those uh, cotton boxes because he knows every cotton box, what it looks like. Okay, we almost cleared this uh, area, this small area and uh, Nothing more then. Let's check the space here. I think we can load all. Either you load half container or one third container. The shipping charge will be always charged by one container. So the more cotton box we can load, uh, the less unique cost customers can save. I don't know if you know this or not, but to professional buyers, they always calculate in this way and they want to load all fit all container that's the final goal to all professional wholesale buyers yeah it is it's a sample I think yeah the more and more space are occupied with our products all right the cotton boxes behind me are not only for one customer also our other customer and those area this area we are loading we are getting those cotton boxes are the products that be loaded to this container which we ship to USA our label already taking those cotton boxes in no, that no, no, area no, no, no. the last area and loaded to this container then everything will be finalized and we finish loading so this is the last cotton boxes in this area in this side actually that side is our other customers waiting for the next container and this one we're gonna load to this container. Well, as this container almost finished, now we can calculate very accurately for how many CBM we left, and uh, we know we can fit all or not. Basically, it's not a problem then, seems like. If this is a labor guy and can calculate it accurately and then load it properly, then there will be no problem, no any issue. Less and less cartons in the warehouse and more and more cartons loaded to this uh, container. And uh, we have a uh, half an hour to go. I think we can finish within half an hour. Not gonna be a big problem. Let's check how they uh, loaded properly or not. It's real. Yeah, pretty much good. 
We have around 20 cartons left. Need to load it to this container. When it fit, there are few cartons on the top and still need to load it. So plus uh, this three stacks and plus those, we're done. So those are the space left. As you can see, we can whether we can load all or not. I think we can. Now look at this. Class of five to seven CBM, including all left empty, and we're gonna put those into here. Now everything is very clear. Yeah, this is heavy one looks like, and I put on the top. Put on the bottom. Sorry. Now this is the heavy one, and I still need to put on the at the bottom. Now we put all the left cartons outside and uh, loading the last one. All right, we take all the cartons left in the warehouse out and then we finish the loading container soon. All right, last procedure. We're about to finish within 15 minutes. So those two labor are organizing the last few CBMs out to properly load all cotton boxes in here. This is the last few CBMs that were left. We need to put those cartons inside. All right, now we're gonna use this machine to fit the, the last few cartons. And uh, the whole 20 feet container is 100% fit all. All right, this is pretty much about this video. If you like our content, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that way, you could get latest notification once we release our new videos about our one-stop sourcing service. As a reliable China agent for import and EU shipping agents, our one-stop sourcing service could definitely grow your business on import and export. All right, I will see you in the next video.